This is the Abuja Kefi Highway along the Marabanyanya Road. A gridlock begins here at about 3 p.m. every day of the week, and there have been times people spend the night in holdups on this road. But today, at 4 p.m., there's a slow movement of traffic, a very rare occurrence. No wonder the roads are not so tight this Yuletide. Residents who are spending the holidays in Abuja are waiting for the fish to finish roasting on the fire, unwinding in places of leisure. It's not all civil servants that collect their salaries, but we still thank God, still give God all the glory for giving us the grace and giving us the more a day will be meant for a way to come out to hang out. I just came out here with my friend to see whether we can relax and look, look around. Business owners say they are making a windfall this Yuletide. Combined with the drinks, with the frozen food and pepper soup, everything, at least, you can sell like 150 a day. We make our way to the central area. The usually busy federal secretariat is empty this time of the year. Not a single civil servant in sight. At the central business district, traffic is almost non-existent. One of the busiest parts of the Abuja city center is the Wuse Zone 4 axis, where the Bureau de Change operators do their business. The usually busy street is empty this Christmas. Away from Zone 4, we follow the free flow of traffic, expecting the usual traffic gridlock at the Burger Junction. This is literally unheard of. I am literally driving around Bega Roundabout with no hold up in sight. I'm not being held up at any point. Our final stop is the Kubwa Highway, a highway notorious for gridlocks at rush hour, particularly at the Galadima area. We are exactly at the Galadima spot of the Namdi Azikiwe Expressway, also known as the Kubwa Expressway. It is exactly 10 minutes gone past 5 p.m. and as you can see behind me, a free flow of traffic. The hold up on this particular spot of this highway starts at about 4 p.m. and goes on until about 7 or 8 because of rush hour. People who work in the city center are making their way back to Kubwa and other parts of the nation's capital. The nation's capital has been deserted for the holidays and its inhabitants will be expected back in a week or two. Kayla Megua, Channels Television News.